Oh. I was sort of hoping that I would just throw the rock at the sign. Something funny would happen. Hey, let's get another ruby. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time you, you know, we, uh, well, uh, bridge, bridge fell, London bridge fell, uh, so, guess, guess we, guess we have no way to get to town and get to that line back guy, the old man mentioned, so what are we gonna do now? Is he gonna give us a sword like the, like old men tend to do in these, uh, Legend of Zelda games? So that, or, I forget what voice I gave him. <clears throat> so that earthquake broke the bridge, did it? Ah, uh, unfortunate. There's another way to the port, but it's far too dangerous. No, wait for someone to rebuild the bridge. That's the only safe course. Don't even think about braving the path to the north. Well, um, I mean, I, you, you don't want to put the idea in my head. This is coercion. You know, I will not stand for it. Well, uh, I guess we just stand here for the next few days while that bridge is repaired, eh? Uh, yep. Just gonna wait here. Forever. No, that's that's not that's not really the thing to do. Now, what should we do? What possibly? Uh, nah, nah, I'll deal with him later. Nah, you know what we do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, caves. In addition to old men, caves also tend to hide swords. Grandpa, you said this cave is a storehouse. Storehouse for what? Huh? Have that. Keep, keep your hands off my things, please ask first. Oceus. Well, I guess I'll just go ask him, huh? Huh? Uh, nah, nah, you know what you know what I'll say. You all know what he will say. Nah, you know. Let's just let's just uh, let's just read this again. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we are supposed to ask him first. Whoopsies. Head back to his house. And talk to me in. Wait. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, he just repeated the same thing again. I'm supposed to brave the path to the north. Without a sword, I guess, but whatever. You know, whatever. Whatever. Oh, it's the right line. It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. You have to go back. You have to go back to the island. Well, that sucks. Uh, but what do we do? Let's ask the old man once more. Watch, he's gonna say the same thing for the third time. For the third time. Tried the path to the north, did you? No, I didn't say the thing. Same thing for the third time. Ciela, I don't pretend you forgot I told you never to go that way. You've seen so many quakes around the island lately, Link, and the monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the fort, it's true, but that path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Yes, but. That's boring. This is a video game. Well, everyone wants to say on a trail, we need to find your friend. If only you found a sword, then you could show those monsters. Yeah, sword. Yeah, sword. Yeah, sword. We uh, went over this. I just lost the chain of events in my head. I bring shame to my... Oh, I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword out here. Yeah, how'd he get this door open? I remember if he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Number of palm trees on the beach, huh? Well, let's take it. Let's just take a stab at it. I don't think that worked. Alright. Let's go count those palm trees. This is riveting Legend of Zelda action adventure gameplay. Palm trees on the beach. Let's go left to right, huh? One, a two, a three, une, deux, trois, quatre, five in French, six, sept, Sept is seven. 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 I guess we just gotta write it as seven. That's pretty easy. Two lines. Also, why is that his password? That's not a very safe password. I mean, there's only ten options, and there's no password limit. Yeah, you see how that just repeats the same thing? Alright, so we just gotta write seven. 
Did that work? Shoot, I counted seven. Now what do we do? There we go. That sound effect, yeah. Oh boy, Let's see what happens. You got Osha's sword. Yeah, we did. You got a sword. Ooh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He worried himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Yeah. Maybe I can slice this slide down. Oh, oh man. Now, now this place is open forever. Or oh, I forgot. Yeah. First thing you gotta do in a legend of the game is break pots and barrels, I guess. And insert the hydro up here. That's a. Uh, oof. Somehow, we should have expected this. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, what does that do? We can't abandon this kidnapped friend. We can't watch for the bridge. <laughs> Wait! Not what? Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. That's like the moment in the movie where the old guy smirks and the action training music starts playing. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Link. I didn't even have a choice, I just, just brought me there anyways. Link! Yes. So, you have a sword. Then know that even the best swords can be bad. If mishandled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Um, I, I, if you remember from the first episode, this link, oh, this link already saved the world back in Wind Waker with the sword. He, he defeated Ganondorf. So, I mean, just, 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 just let the old man have his fun. This oh, just, just, just having fun. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real ones. Yeah, but less cool. This is a video game. Just tap a target to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. We're not gonna ask how he did that? Alright. Uh, what? Hey, that doesn't look nice then. Just tap your targets. Try again. Oh, I tried sliding towards him. Yeah. 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 Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Tap the side slide. When you find it hard to lock onto enemies, use the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. It requires a little practice. Skip the simply sketch to slash at alliteration though. Yeah, this is this is very difficult. Looks like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. Finally, we have the spin attack. You know that one. It's no with no Legend of Zelda player has ever used that attack before. Slide the sunrise in a circle around yourself to spin around and like... Yeah. <laughs> you can slash at him. Oopsies. Whoopsies. Yeah, the spin attack is kind of finicky in this game. Sometimes you do the side slash if you don't, if you like, don't do your circle right. But he's right, just do draw a big circle and pretty much get it most of the time. Don't try aiming with it. It's dumb. Because your character will move slightly as you do the circle, and only attack as you complete the circle. So it's weird. Superb. I can teach you nothing more. Nothing. Nothing at all. That was that was 45 seconds maybe. Now you must swim on your own as you venture to swim. This guy fell into the ocean less than a day ago. That's insensitive. On your own as adventurer out among the monsters. And if you do have any problems, return here to speak with me. Nah, I won't. I'm a hero. Bye. Thanks. Through this. But first, let's go help out Farmer Guy here. I am tapping on you. Yep, that's how it's. Wait, no, I was thinking the old man voice. Yep, that's how it's done. Just chat on people and speak with them. Anyway, I just had a bit bad luck, a bit of luck with my garden here. That quake just used a bunch of rocks onto the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up, then tap where you want to throw it, as you remember from the beginning of this episode. Well. Da -da. Da -da. That was fun. I'm outing! Yes, that was the cuckoo uh, angering. As many of you know, is fatal in 99% of cases. But I lived. Doctors hate me. 
I heard that the ghost ship is on the prowl again. Still more islanders. So very dangerous. Yeah, there's nothing in this house. I don't know why they even modeled it so detailed. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. nothing ever happens in this house in the later part of the game anyway, too. So, I don't know why it's so modeled such detail from the inside. <laughs> oh yeah, the jump attack. Also, you can cut down trees with swords now. With one slash. That's a... Uh, that's uh, definitely a thing that is definitely possible in the real life. That makes perfect kind of sense. Oh boy, this guy. This guy looks like Wario, but Cyclops. Look at that mustache. So I'm gonna even Wario voice. Why going? Why do a somersault? I can't do a good Wario impression, by the way. So, uh, bear with me. <coughs> Wanna do a somersault? Scribble tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Roll into that big tree there and see what shakes loose. Roll too much, however, and you'll get dizzy. Yeah, 20 rupees. I am the man. Like, what can I afford 20 rupees? A whole... I'm sure, something. You know, you know the whole rupees are separated by color in this game, like, based on their worth? What if you, like, paint a green ruby red, huh? Huh? Anyway, we did it. We're right at the passage to the north, and now we're in the mountain. Caves are always the safest spots to be, so... A door with a lock on it. I wonder how you open that. Oh shoot! Time to use. Oh, I almost got all four of them. That would have been cool. That delay makes the spin attack actually awesome, though. If you hit another one at me, just. Got a small key. Yeah, we did. It's it's uh. Dude, they prefer to be called little keys. Like no, I'm trying to do a midget joke. Um. All right. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? Boom. I probably should have saved those arms before I got hit. Tap a block, yeah. Push. 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 That's. I wonder what we'll do to escape with those levers. First is the second from the left. Oh, only four levers. Where might those be, I wonder? Well, I bet this thing will come in handy. How about we write it down on our map? Do that tap that? Yeah, 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 tutorial stuff. First is the second from the left, so one goes there. Let's see if we can write on our map. That's actually really useful in this game, trust me. So, you know, get used to seeing that map with a bunch of black lines on it that you can't even read, and only I can read because my handwriting is awful. Oh, shoot. See, this is what I meant by saving those uh, parts. Oh boy, a treasure chest. With the whole money. 83 rupees already, and two hearts in. Pfft, at this rate, I'll have. I don't know. Um, pulling the levers. Second is first on the left, last is second on the right. So, second is first on the left, last is second from the right. So, four, and that leaves three for there. Boom. We know the order now. This is hard, man. I mean, this is math level, like, like super, super college level uh, mathematics. And another small key. This one looks exactly the same as the old one. Can we just use that on this one? Huh? Uh, what's wrong with you, game developers? What's wrong with you? Oh shoot, it's a mouse. It's a meese. What do we do? Oh, he's got a key. Run, run. Ah, shoot. Should have expected that. Wow. Oh no, he runs through those holes. They always have an escape route. What do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We suffocate him by closing up the doors, and then we go back in and find his rotting body. Alright, so let's just let him go over there. Then he can't go anywhere, so... Boom. Why did that rat have a key? <coughs> I don't know, the flood of Zelda. Also, why is there doors in here? <laughs> you're you're at it. You're asking the wrong questions, buddy. Well, at least I can- if I can't use a rocket break on a sign, I can at least use them to take down keys. 
Those are keys, by the way. I don't know why they didn't go with that. Uh, probably to be creative. No, no hearts in there. Hey! Whoa, a town. By town, I mean about five buildings and maybe less than ten people. Yeah. We made it to the war. That's, it's so much farther to walk my bridges out. Now that we're here, let's look up Lineback. I've met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. Okay, let's head to port. No, and then they were showing you what port was. Welcome to Mersey Island's port. You normally see sailors coming and going, but rumors that the ghost ship have retur has returned have all but shut down our harbor. Except for one brave soul recently docked his ship that is... Yeah, oh look, another cuckoo. What do we do with it? Just leave it alone for now. <coughs> I guess we just gotta head down to the dock. We can come to these buildings later. Mailbox. That, uh, apparently is not as a hologram. Look at this remarkable chef. What do you think of it? Looks like a... Looks like that thing from Majora's Mask. You know, the thing in the lake. Yeah. Oh, such a, Oh, look, just look at her. What a ship. She's so proud, beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, she were only mine. It belongs to a sea captain, what goes by the name of Lineback. A fearless soul, I hear. He's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What? You're searching for Lineback? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Lineback has vanished to. Okay, so I only realized on the second playthrough of this game that you're supposed to think this guy is Lineback. Because, you know, he's all doting about about the, about the ship. Uh, but I, the first playthrough of this game, I had, I had, I could not, uh... Register the joke. <laughs> I just thought, oh, it's a guy liking a ship. I just, I think that's what the joke is. You're supposed to, the game developers are supposed to think you think that that's Lineback. You know, I've been to a lot of places, but the milk here, it's the best. Yum! Milk bar. Yum. A new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drift in here well, to warn away the hours. A bit empty at the moment. But aren't you a tad short to be in here? Take no offense, sir. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. Because, you know, milk is alcoholic. Looking for Lineback? Sure, I know him in that chair that I knew him recently. <clears throat> God, I can't do this guy's voice. I mean, look at him, you know, with the cheeks and the round body. It's like it's, it's like a circus thing. <laughs> Lineback just dashed out, saying it's off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our isle. You know where that giant temple thing is on the map. In my ears, you're that right. He went to the temple of the Ocean King. Listen up, young. Listen good. The Ocean King is the defender of all creation. And that temple up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, the curse is in places like souls and all the winter. That. That's. Should have opened with that. None dare step on the temple of the Ocean King, so put that out of your mind. Can't say where your friends go, but I'll tell you this, stay out of there. Yes, dear clear, that's all, all we do. But the odd visitor down with them can't resist it. What? Where is it? Right there on your map. Yeah, I just told you. You're not actually going there, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Gave you that idea. <laughs> run, Ziella, run, Ziella, run. Run into the next episode.